Hello everybody and welcome to a new channel that we will be starting and it is called World of Cars. This new channel will range from stuff such as our main event and that will be cars as you can see Disney Pixar. However we will be doing some stuff about Thomas the Tank Engine and Avengers. And our first video today will be our cars collection. So all of the Disney Pixar cars toys we have collected. So firstly we're going to start off with perhaps our favourite cars and that's the World Grand Prix. So as you can see very nice cars and we have collected all of them although Miguel Camino and Ripcliffe Gernerski we haven't actually got the proper version of we only have the CRC version as you can see and both of them but we will be hoping to collect the World Grand Prix version pretty soon. Starting off with number 9 Nigel Gearsley being British. Then we have number two, Lewis Hamilton. Spain's number five, Miguel Camino. New Redeemers, number ten, Rip Clutch Gernesky. France's number six, Rahul Saru. Brazil's number eight, Carla Veloso. Right behind, beside her is num Japan's number seven, Shuto Roki. America's number 24, Jeff Grover. Germany's number 4, Max The Gennaro. two main characters and the fastest cars in the World Grand Prix, Francesco Bernoulli and Lightning McQueen. Here's a shot of all of them and as you can see to the right there's the World Grand Prix um, checkered flag guy. And then as you can see in the middle is Brent and David. And then to the left is Sir Miles Axelrod. As you may have noticed in all of these racing World Grand Prix, there are some digits, for example, I zoom on to Coach Gainiski's one, um, ne underneath and um, next to them. And these digits are actually not any um, normal, any ordinary digits. They're actually, they're 0 to 60 times. So these World Grand Prix cars were timed on the 0 to 60, and we've got a chart of their times I'm going to show you. As you can see here on the chart, the cars have their numbers. So, for example, here's Francesco, number one, and his name, Francesco Bernoulli and it's time, um, 0 to 60 on time is 2.5 seconds as is um, imitated over here and it says 2.5 seconds. goes for the rest of the World Grand Prix and it's no different except of course they're different cars with different numbers and different times and they're all very good times, these are very fast cars so obviously you're going to expect them to get very good 0 to 60s in particular McQueen, Francesco, Shutor Rookie and Carlo Veloso and Rick Klitschkanski got very good 0 to 6. So that's the World Grand Prix collection and it's probably my favourite collection to be honest. I think they're just so cool and really deserve a shout out but now we're going to be moving on to the next generation high tech racing. As you can see it does look quite cool, quite a bit of action and as you can see the <clears throat> main TV reporters Chick Hicks and Natalie Certain of reporting about these amazing, extremely fast cars, and as you can see, over here's here. Chick Hicks and Natalie. So, in the background, we have the main event, and those are the next generation high tech racers. So, let's start off with the main event. Mood Springs, Ed Truncan. Moving to the left is H.J. Hollis, N20 Cola. Then we have the Vital Line Star, Chase Race Lot. Then we have the main car fastest Jackson Storm 2.0 and Igniter. Then we have to the left of him Daniel Suarez, Octane Game number 19. Then we have Bubba Wheelhouse Transbury Juice number 6. And to the left of him we have Tim Treadless Nitro Nade number 28. As you can see over here we have included Cars 3 Lightning McQueen's here, Diorama just uh, kind of um, put in next to the um, races he raced against and just a, a little fun thing. Also as you may have noticed we have actually added a next generation high tech um, racers poster and we did actually originally have lots of these posters but they eventually got thrown in the bin by accident but anyway this is one of the best and probably the only surviving one but as you can see we've like added stuff like that McQueen raced in and then we added a few of the high techs and just estimated their speed in our opinion. It's not probably, apart from storms, they're probably, they're really just estimates. They're really not the actual speed, but anyways, it's just supposed to be a nice post. Also, we um, decided to add in a nice touch, and that is when in, in end of class three, Jackson Storm lunged into Cruz Ramirez and she flipped over him. So what we decided to do is add even more diorama mix 
Storm looks like he's bashing Cruz into the wall. And then he, she's about to flip over him. And then we also added a bit of information. So um, I don't think I really need to read it to you. Assuming that you guys um, watching this video actually can read. So it's going to be a bit of time to read it. Okay, there you go. So that's something nice. But yeah, that's the high text. They're very nice and I hope you like them. But yeah, so that's it. Now we're going to be moving on to the drifters. So here are all of our drifters. And in case any of you don't know, drifters are just another type of car that tend to drift, as we saw in Cars 2. Kabuto is over here. This car is over here. Um, he was drifting very well against Tokyo Mesa and he still lost. But anyway, that's what drifters are. We're going to be showing you the drifters individually. Here's Snot Rod. TJ, Komodo from Tokyo, alongside the main antagonist in Cars 2, Tokyo Mater, Kabuto. Yes. Now this one's actually got a broken spoiler unfortunately, but we hope to replace it. To the right of him is Dragon McQueen, who helped out Tokyo Mater. And on the far right end we have Wingo. As you may notice, we also added a few nice touches, so we just like did a Drifters logo, we did something Drift for the Diamond, it's supposed to be kind of the Drifters all trying to get the Diamond, but just some nice thing and then since Kabuto is our favourite one and probably the fastest we um, wrote a sign saying Kabuto king of all drifters and then we drew a crown just because in our opinion he's like the best drifter because he looks very cool but we'll get into further detail as we will be reviewing each of these cars that you see in this video. Moving along from all of that we have the Dynaco. So Dynaco is the fastest and the richest racing team as you can see this is the cars that Tex would have had in the end of all of the Cars films if they had came and invited to it. So let's just get into further detail. In my opinion, the main Dynaco car and the fastest is the King or Swift Weathers. And as you can see, he is like, very nice. We'll get into further detail in his own review. And as you can see, he's looking at his nephew, Cal Weathers. Very similar design. Then we have chick kicks and this is how he would have looked like if he went to Dynaco. And to the above there, Tomika's now. attempt of doing Lightning McQueen in Dynaco. He's looking at the fishing cup alongside Tomika's other version of the King or Strip Brothers. He's also looking at the fishing cup. Moving down, we have Cruz Ramirez, Dynaco 51. He does have a very <coughs> different design to the other races. However, this is how she looks like, very nice. The owner of all these fabulous cars is Tex Dynaco. In the background you can see the king and his hauler, and this is the Dynaco cars. And moving down to the other cars races, that McQueen, the king and Chick Hicks. Are Starting off we have number 58, Octane Game, Billy Lodge. And moving on we have Nitronade's first car, number 28, which is Aiken Axler. Here we have a Vuzine car, number 39. Here we have Brush from Fiber Fuel, number 56. Here we have Darren Ledford from Shiny Max in his Cars version. He's also seen in Cars 3 in a different version, but we'll get into that car later in the video. And last but not least, we have Greg Handyman, Tack Mint, number 101. So we're going to have a quick recap of what we've done. So we've done the World Grand Prix, we've done the High Techs, the Drifted, Dynaco State Center, and we've done all of these Cars races. But up next are these other cars, which don't really have any like place to go, they're just other cars which we just put up here on this shelf. So we have two nice beers loose, then behind them is a souvenir guy. Then we have a Paris and Cars tour bus. We have a crew chief and then Jeff Grovert, a queen, <coughs> some lemons and zunda, and that is it. Yeah, so that's those cars and it's gonna be moving down here. That's this area. So up there is Lightning McQueen, his new sponsor Sterling, and the little yellow car Cruz Ramirez. Also for more diorama we have Bob and Daryl up here looking down at the CRC racer. As you saw earlier Miguel and Kuchmanski were CRC cars but these are all of our other CRC cars. And as you Lightning can see McQueen is clearly in the lead with Nigel Gearsley in second place closely followed by Max Gunnell and then Hall's hoping to get up to it. A higher position but he's very fast. Quickly we're going to um, just show you the Hudson Hornet and McQueen's um, uh, like 
Rembrandt's paint job of the Hudson Hornet, the fabulous Lake McQueen. We put them next to each other, both on side views, because I just want to compare them, show how nice McQueen was to do that for Doc, but that's just a little bit of diorama, I guess, but as you can see, we like to do the diorama. We've got a race, we've got um, the storm bashing crews, we've got lots of um, Bob and Daryl, we've got lots of pieces of diorama. Uh, we just forgot to tell you one little thing. We do actually have one other Cars racer. I'm not sure you know who he is, but it's Kevin, um, number um, 121 from Clutchay. We do actually have this car, but he's just gone missing, so we were very upset that we couldn't include him in this video, but anyway, just to let you know, that is one car we do have. We have a couple of our ice racers. Over here we have Lightning McQueen, Shooter Rookie. Then we have Nigel Gearsley, Rahul Saru, and Miguel Camino. So those are our ice racers. Moving down over here to some spare. Here we have four um, cars which actually automatically drive themselves. If I could give you show you demonstration. All you need to do with these cars, and they just flipped over to make them drive, is all you simply need to do is just give them a few pumps with the tyres. Okay, so I think they just bump the screen over, but then they go. Again. Okay, they just they just go. Okay, but that's just a quick demonstration. So there we have four of them. Then we have two other large cars, McQueen and Hamilton. Then we have we seen cars two, Nurse GTO, and then lots of other cars as you can see here. So a quick look at them. A few broken cars, large Camaro ice car McQueens. Then we have a few other cars, two and stuff. Fenwick Missile down there. And over here is actually a homemade Francesco Bruno. We call it just give me a quick look. How we'll be having a proper look at his actual review that will be coming up. So we're just gonna have a quick peek at this caller and that is it. We'll be look at more closely at his at own review. Moving over here we have a big cars 3 Mac. And in fact if we pull it out. It does actually open up, I'm sure many of you have it, it can contain cars, such as if you put Finnick Missile in there, and see how it gets stored up very well. Bringing in more of them, we can see Mater, then Rope and McQueen. In fact, I'm going to show you a lot of cars, how but now we're going to put it back. There we go, flipping away. Coming over here, you can see more spare cars and in fact we even have a flows cafe ramp and as you can see we have two mcqueen's racing then we have many other cars monster truck mcqueen in fact we have a few others over there more monster trucks and this is the flows cafe set you may have noticed that the other mcqueen isn't really a mcqueen but just take a look a closer look at her oh yes actually her this is actually one of our made up cars, we just like to create new cars and we call her Lady McQueen, just kind of, I know it's a bit like funny or, or silly but it's, we just like to create a female version of McQueen, as you can see we've made um, McQueen look like a girl and yeah but that's just a quick look and as you can see she is losing to Lady McQueen but anyway that is that. Speaking of made up cars we come up here, there's Storm's Hauler by the way. You can see some of our own cars drawings. Now these are a few of our own cars. This is my made up Argentinian car from the World Grand Prix. Number three, and it's decorated in very nice Argentinian colours. A bit of other decorations as you can see up here. However, that's and up it. here I designed this Canadian race car also in the World Grand Prix in the shape of Carnival also. As you can see, it's number 13. If I zoom into the World Grand Prix Shield, it has lots of the Canadian colours and lovely flames over here, there, and on the side. But that's just a made up car. But anyway, we're going to be moving on to some real life car drawing. Also, please let us know in the comments below which car you prefer out of these two. Not to be competitive, just want to know. Also, tell us if you like these two. Over here, we also did a few. And drawings as you saw. This is just a watercolour version of Lightning McQueen, World Grand Prix. Hope you like it. 
practice my attempts at doing him. But I just did my best, but that's that. One more look. There we go. As you can see, I've done many pictures of Francesco. He's a one nice car. As you can see over here, I did one of Francesco racing. Look at all of the details as I sort of put the reflection, the tyres. However, there you can see him. In my opinion, this is one. This is my best Francesco drawing, and well, painting more of. As you can see over there, we have dirt coming out of his tyres. However, now let's move on to more Francesco drawing. Another cool addition is a side view Francesco. There he is from a side view. As you can see with his tyres, his eyes and his Formula One shape. And over here we can see something saying Francesco. Another Francesco, just a quick look. And then we'll be talking about another Bernoulli and Storm racing picture. As you can see, like what Storm did to Ramirez, he's lugging into Bernoulli. Just one last quick look at it. I did copy this off from the internet, so don't think I did it. And since this is a very, very nice drawing, and um, a drawing of a pretty iconic like discussion, but it's on the desk, the car's desk. You'll be looking in further detail. First up here we have McQueen's hauler Mac, very friendly. And four like versions of Lightning McQueen up here. Here we have Cars 3 Flash McQueen, War Grand Prix McQueen, Cars McQueen, and Cars 3 Racing McQueen, I guess. And he, they're all um, placed on uh, the lovely hauler of Mac. We, got some nice we have Francis Belt Line and Chester Whipple Filter all racing away from Miss Fritter and as you can see she has crashed into a few other cars on her way to get these. Here we also have one of those mystery race cars from like other versions of Cars 2 for example. Vitaly Pedro is in the Russian version and just I guess is the Chinese version and the racer is called Longi. As you can see clearly the spoiler is broken off and this it's not a Mattel version, is it? it's rather large, but it's just like a nice addition. It looks like he's drifting, walking, so much like left and right and he's like this. Just looking there. But yeah, it's just um, a little nice car there. This is the whole desk, as you can see. <coughs> we have a Cars 2 book there, a little um, pack up um, bag of Cars 3 McQueen. Then we have a jigsaw puzzle over there. And this is a big Lightning McQueen that folds up. Let me just quickly show you. So it's basically just like a big Cars McQueen. But actually, when you open it up, once you open it up, it becomes an extremely cool racing track, which we will demonstrate in a minute how the cars race. All you really need to do is pull this um, green flag up here, put two cars, in this case, it's a nice GTO whistle, and then you just simply pull it down and they go racing. I'm not sure if you've run that, but we, this is actually going to be, um, uh, we are going to be doing a second video on this, so our next video, which we will upload, is going to be a tournament of 50 cars um, competing to see who will win um, a tournament of this track, so let's hope these two cars do well, okay, but anyway, that's, that's going to be our second video. But that's just another set. We have lots of transforming sets, and they, we think they're really cool, but I'm gonna pop that away in a minute. One last look at the desk. You can see nice decorations. We have a Bernoulli, Schubert, McQueen, and the racing strip, even over there. Now let's just move on over here to some more fancy stuff. So starting off on the left side of this big piece of cars, are some cars three racers so I'm just going to name a few of them so over here we've got Rex, Parker, there's Dud and Newsprint and Ralph, there's Murray, Sputterstop, Jack the Post and Buck, so I can't name all of them but over here are some more cars than three racers so we've got Bobby Swift, Cal Weathers, Rick Yardley, Phil Tankson, Darren Ledford in his Cars 3 version I was talking about earlier, and Tommy Highbanks. Now moving up, we've got our favourite little gang, Radiator Springs. And we'll be talking a bit about the Radiator Springs, so starting off with... Now, Guido was actually meant to be over here, but unfortunately, he's broken. We will get him repaired, 
However, there's Luigi on its own pretending Luigi is there. Moving up, we have Sheriff, the Village Springs Police. And moving up, we have the two pe the pair, Flo and Ramon. And then <coughs> to their right is Mater, McQueen's best friend. Then we have Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, Sally Kamira, Sergeant Fillmore, and Red. And down there we have McQueen actually. So that's just that little piece of the room, but so I think we have actually finished the collection. It's gonna give you a like a quick run around of the room. Here are the World Grand Prix, a quick look at them. And here are the next generation heights at greatest and above their mother. Drifters. Then here a few like random, no needed place cars. Over here we've got the Dynaco Centre and then below them are the cars race it. Fortunately it's the Kevin, but anyway. And below them we've got the nice piece of Four diorama around. reporting. Then just other cars down here. There's Mac, surprise for Tresco Hauler. Then we just have Flo's Cafe, McQueen Racing with Lady McQueen. The drawings and two made up cars. Then the desk. And then that other piece of cars, but just not to mention over here, we do have a of uh, the bed is also um the ghost of Lightning McQueen Doobie since we are very much into cars. So that's just a tour of the room, but thank you for watching. We really would like your support and we hope this channel becomes very good since we have been working on it for a long time. And please do like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the videos on the channel. We will try to upload if we can as often as possible, but next video will be that transforming the queen over there a tournament of 50 cars but we really hope you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe and we will see you soon for more cars videos this is world of cars signing out